This is Jerry Coviello, a member of the International Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Tying Group to show how to tie the Sparkle Dunn Light Cahill. Materials needed for this fly. A dry fly hook, thread cream or yellow 6-0 pre-wax thread. For the wing, I'm going to use bleached elk hair. For the tail, a Zelon or Antron yarn. The body, fine cream dubbing. We will attach the thread on the shank of the hook about one eye length back behind the eye. We will also tie the thread onto the shank of the hook. We'll give a coating of thread. This will, because we are working with elk hair, and anyway, if you're working with any kind of a deer hair or elk hair and we don't want it to spin, we would like to keep uh, the hair on the top of the shank of the hook. We will stack some elk hair make sure all the tips are lined up and then we will make sure that the elk hair is the length of the shank of the hook and we will secure this one third of the way from the eye and we'll do nice tight wraps always make sure when you tie tight you pull upwards then we will take our scissors and then trim all the butts as close as possible now we'll take our thread and secure all the butt ends of the elk hair and we'll take our thread and go towards the bend of the hook. Now we'll take some Antron yarn or Zelon and we'll tie it at the bend of the hook. This will uh, simulate the trailing shuck of the fly. Now we will trim the Antron yarn so that it is the length of the shank of the hook. Do not pull the Antron yarn and then cut. Just hold it loosely because if you pull it and then cut, it'll, it'll be shorter than uh, the actual uh, size that you need. Now we'll dub uh, the body. We'll add very fine amounts of uh, fur to the thread. And uh, then we will wrap from the bend of the hook to the wing and then past the wing. But remember, this is going to be a tapered body. So it's going to be smaller by the bend and then as we go towards the wing, it'll start getting thicker. So what, as we just keep wrapping, we fill, it, fill up the bare spots uh, sort of like painting uh, or, and we will make a nice tapered body. With your finger push the wing up it'll flare at a nice 180 degrees then take your dubbing fur and build a dubbing dam in front of the wing so that it'll stand straight up. Don't be afraid to pull the wing to get it into the position that you'd like to get it. Remember, it's got to be 180 degrees to support the fly on the water. Now take your whip finishing tool and whip finish it right in the bare spot right behind the eye. With your bodkin, just place a drop of head cement right onto your thread wraps. If you see any stray hairs sticking out, just take your scissor and trim them. 